Welcome back to Zweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Zweetieville. I am Zweetie Pie, and today we are back with another mod with me. Um, I know I'm a little late on this. I'm very sorry, but unfortunately, I have been very ill the past few days and haven't been getting out of bed. In fact, it took me all day to get up and look this great for you so I could do this because I really wanted this video up today. So I'm sorry it's late, but better late than never. So we're going to get started with today's version of Mod With Me. Um, so as we all know, there's a new patch update today. So in order to protect your mods, this is what you're going to need to do. So I have it open so you can see my computer here. The first thing you need to do is go into your documents, Electronic Arts, Sims 4, Well, I guess if you click it, then this mod folder, you're going to take it out. Well, if I click right and move it to your desktop. It's that simple. So when you go and you update on origin now, it's going to create a new mods folder. We'll just delete that one. We'll put this one back in once we figure out everything is fine. So we want to make sure things are good first. So this is what you do. Then the next thing you're going to do is bring up your origin and put in your password. So I'll bring you right back as soon as I'm in. All right, so I have it coming up here. Let me get it, you know, a little bit more over here for you guys. Yeah, you can see that better. All right, so you can see I have automatic updates already on. So the second I load up origin, it is automatically preparing my update and doing everything. I don't even have to tell it to. It's already doing that. You can turn that off, but you just have to go through your origin settings, which if you want me to do that, let me know, and I can do another video on that later. Um, I do find it easy just to keep it on. It's not a big deal to me. You do need to know when the updates are, but if you forget, it's really not the end of the world because I forget a lot, and I've never had my mods affected, so... Sims 4 does a really good job. It's not like The Sims 3 where it used to really mess up your mods. Sims 4 does a really good job because before they do any of this loading and everything else, they turn off your mods for you and your script mods. So whether you leave them in or not, they're not even affected because they turn them off. So it doesn't affect them. But just to be safer than sorry, your best bet is to take them out. So what i do and what you guys do in your own game is two different things but nine times out of ten do i really take my mods folder out no i don't i'm not gonna lie i just open origin let it update it turns it off i go and i check my game which is what we're going to be doing next when this gets done and then i turn my mods back on and cross my fingers and hope for the best <laughs> that it didn't break anything um I would say the cats and dogs update was like the worst and the um, Python script update we had was the worst. Those two right there, they killed everything. Um, but the most, I mean most of these modders are really great at getting their content um, upgraded and ready for you within a couple days. So I mean you're playing vanilla a few days, if you can live with that you're good. And I mean I don't like it. But I just build on those days and then it doesn't affect me. <laughs> I don't play any of my LPs or anything. I just build. I'm like, okay, cool, let's play the new stuff. Like this one, if you did not know, we have stairs. Yay! We have asked and asked and asked. And we finally got updated stairs. So now you can make any type of stair your little heart desires with these. They are so awesome. I was like so ecstatic when I seen that. I was like, what? We can do L stairs, we can do the um, crossover stairs, I can do a spiral stair that's square, but I mean it's spiral, who cares? I mean, I can live with that. <laughs> I can make a square spiral. Good with me. That it works so good for such a tiny home. Yeah, I could see that. I'm, I'm gonna be building. I'm gonna be playing with some stairs, I know it. And all these cheats I've been learning on how to build all these stairs from like Kate Emerald and things like that. 
only need a few of them now because now I got these stairs. <laughs> this is kind of sad. It's great. All right, hurry up and finalize. Good gosh. I want to go. So once it's all done with all of this, then you need to check your game and make sure that it is running. I would advise you not to open any of your save files or anything because you'll just screw them up if it's me messed up. So always make a new game and go through it. All right, come on. It's a finalizing. It's a finalizing. It's a finalizing. Maybe. Come on. Come on. There's really not much more I can say about this topic until you get there. Let's go, Sims. Let's go. Let's go, Sims. Let's go. Might be taking a little bit longer because I have some things open on the bottom that I really don't want to get rid of. I was working on the other day and I just kind of like left pinned. So I'm not going to lie. Circle of death. Okay. So who's excited about the stairs? Did everybody know about the stairs? I mean, we're getting more things in the stairs, but I think the stairs are the most exciting. And, like, the lighted decking. Well, it's not really decking. It's more like the rails are lighted. Gorgeous looking. Oh, okay, we're complete. All right, go here. We went to play. Okay, so let's play. And then it's going to go do, 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 do. Oh, my reshade's still there because that's, like... That's like not in your mods folder reshade is, so you will see that. And there we go. Dun, dun. Just click it to go faster because I mean it's cute to watch, but I'm in a hurry. I don't want to. And then let it do its thing. Yay! Dun, 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 dun. All right, there we go. So, if you hit load game, you have all your loaded games here. Don't click them. Always click new game. You, you can easily delete your... Just play around world. It's cool. Don't do that. Save yourself the headache. No, I don't. I just want to do this. Yeah. Um. Yep, you look good to me. You're just Grace Woodworth. All right. Let's go. Excuse me. My nose itches now. Someone is thinking about me, evidently. Alright, yeah, it, it can be spring. Alright. Let's just pick a world. Will it go here? I don't care. Yeah. Do, 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 All right, we're in. Everything's good. It's running fairly really well. So I usually, you know, go into build mode, make sure things load. What? Oh, we got the island counter. That's neat. Ooh. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you there. Um. Anything else gonna yelp at me? That, that's it. Okay, so it's mainly a bug fix, but we got these little counter ones we've been waiting for. And around and... We had that one and that. We got the corners normal. We got that one. We got that one. We got stuff. Woo woo. Okay. 
That's the only thing that's yelping at. Okay. So we are all good there. Just, I'm leaving it. It's just a test game. It's okay. Yes, it is. All right. Um. Oh, I wanted to look at the stairs. Why? Why did I do that? I want at stairs. Oh, um, let's see here, let's build, yeah, go away, we're going to copy, we're going to go up, we're going to put it down, yeah, yeah, so I can grab stairs, I don't care, just give me the darn stairs, fine, bye, go away, I want stairs, a oh, McGlob. Come here. Aha! Da 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 da! Stairs. Then they look like this, and then you go. Twist. And then you go. Ah. Oh, yeah, you gotta click it right. Woo! Woo! Hey! Go back! Okay. And then I go. Twist. And then I go. Ah! Oh, it won't let me no more. It intersects. That's as good as I can do right now. Oh, that's cute. Oh, oh that's that's adorable. You go. Do, 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 do. Oh, I like that already. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm thrilled. Oh, I get rid of all of that. Here, just because I want to. Go here. Whoa, wait, wait. Oh, crap. Come here, girl. You evil looking thing. Oh. Okay. Why is this not working for me? Why is my mouse being so sensitive? Why? Oh, that's why. All right. Because my mouse is being crazy. Oh! That looks so horrible. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay, give me out. Okay. I want to see it going the other way. Go here. Oh. Do do do, then up we go. Do do do, do 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 do. Ta da! Okay. All right. I really need to be done playing with stairs. I'm so sorry. I was so excited to play with the stairs. Okay. So everything seems to be uh, just fine. So then you're going to. Oh, go to game options other down here and since we didn't have any mods in there or anything it kept everything in here now normally if you leave your mods folders in here this will be unchecked and it will look like this all you literally got to do is click it and then it'll say you need to restart and be like okay cool and apply your changes and then exit your game Bye bye. All right, then you're gonna go back to your documents. Uh, electronics are whoa. Electronic art Sims Four. This is the mods folder it created for us today. We don't want that. There's like literally nothing in it. Just your resource CFG file, which we don't need. Then you gotta put that. Um, where, where did it go? Hello? Hello, Lucy? Oh, there you are. Then you take this, and you can throw it away, but I throw it into my mod folder here, so... Ah!
forgot I had that in there. Usually I don't have that. Sorry guys. So I take this mods folder and I put it in here. It just temporarily takes it that way in case I need it again. I have it, but you won't. But it makes me feel better. Then you take this mods folder and you put it in. Voila. Then you're going to want to delete any last exceptions you have. You're going to delete your local thumbnail file. Just totally fine to do. Don't worry about this. Then your cache, if there's anything in here. And this cache str. I keep that one in there, but anything else, you can feel free to do that. So, once you do that, you have your game reset. Your mods are back in there. You're going to hit play. And you're going to do this again. Yay! Because who doesn't like to start The Sims 50 million times and not play? Me! Okay. Go, 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 go. Um, deleting the local cache file, all that does is reset, like, I kind of think of them as like cookies. I mean, I don't, I'm not very techy, so I don't know what it really is. But it makes the game respawn those. So if you're having any issues in your game, and you've done the um, repair game thing, always delete those that I just showed you. Because it'll respawn new ones, and nine times out of ten fixes all your problems. Just with a couple deletes and all done. And then you just gotta wait, because I got a lot of mods in there again. So it's gotta read them all. I am gotta see if it broke anything. Which, you know, I can find out really quickly if I open my Discord. Let me see. Let me do that on my phone. Since I have my computer being um, screened for you. I want you guys to see that. Um, Other access to the update no good old days and all right, so all my mods are good again, they're back in there. Um, I'm not seeing anything broken yet. Um, CC mods are in there, for sure. Okay, so IU Cheats was broken with the patch. So you're going to want to redo that, or UI Cheat, sorry. Can't get my name right. And the Explore mod from Kawaii Stacy. So that seems like what we'll have to do. So you'll just want to go back through this and click new game and check your stuff out again. Any cast items you will know if they break just due to the fact of they will look like crap here. So I always go here, content, filter, custom, and just look and start clicking. The more you have, the more you go through, but I mean, you'll see the little um, question mark, but if it makes you feel better, click them and stuff. Content, custom. Nothing seems to be broken. 
So I'm going to go straight into game really quick just to take a quick look. You're Tracy Milton. All right, come on, Tracy, let's go. So those are the only ones that they are saying are actually broken and you will have to get new ones. So if you use the UI cheat, hey honey, just a second, then you're going to need a new one of those. And if um, you use Quai Stacy's Explorer mod, it broke as well. So I do have the Explorer mod in. So that seems to be all good. Everything seems to be good here. Explore mod services. So far it's working for me, but everybody will, just depends on really what you got in your game. He explored, he's returned home. Volunteering has made fun, blah, blah, blah. Okay, he had a great time, let's see. Yep, I have no needs because the UI cheats broke. So you just wanna click around and see what is going to work for you? Oh, he's fully licensed now. Woo! -hoo! And do that, but I mean, it's pretty much all you do after that. And then, you know, you go to those sites. So I would take out the UI cheats, the Explorer mod, even though it did work for me. Um, but, you know, it may only work for a small time go do that so I mean it, it might mess up here and there it might work for a while like I, I don't know you can't see certain stuff so I would redo those two other than that you should be pretty good um, and just see if something breaks or if you get a last exception so um, after that, you'll just exit your game. I never save, I just exit. And go into your documents, Electronic Arts, Sims 4, and see if you got an exception, which I got an exception. So this will tell me exactly what is broken. And like I said, if you get on the um, MC Command Center's Discord, you just load up this exception and they will happily tell you what is wrong with your game. So let me load that in and I will show you how that works as well if you guys don't know. You get to see all my great little people here. So you go here, you go to last exceptions here. And then you just go Me what went wrong? Up oh, here, then you go into documents, electronic arts, Sims 4, do, do, do. last exception, open. That's the upload. And this will tell you on the side who is all in here. So um, they got some people here. It might take a minute. So. So we have um, the UI cheat mods, UI cheats, and more cast columns malfunctioned on me. And then I just tell them thank you and we're done.
that's how fast it was. I don't read that stuff. Don't know. They do. So, all we gotta do now is go here. Um, take that down. We're going into our mods. Uh, whoa, why did I do that? I don't know. And UI cheats extension, out you come. And she said what else? Um, ah, this button. That button, haha. <laughs> Okay. So she's also telling me that there is um, the more cast columns is already updated. And if I scroll down here to mods slash news. Or up. Yep, right here. Um, so Little Miss Sam has some stuff. Um, delete your old files and delete that local thumbnail cache and you'll be fine. So there's something in the woohoo that broke if you're using that. Um, the UI cheats. And so they have some trackers here you can go through and see what is all broken um, for the realm of magic so it's really great center perfect you know and that's all you do so um forecast column that's the one i needed do -do 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 -do. More cast presets, nope. Columns, 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 where did I put you? I don't remember. Right here, I'm looking at you, OMG. Go down. And more cast columns. Ta-da-da! Then we go back into Sims 4. I delete that. Delete the local thumbnail. Make sure nothing else spawned here. Nope. I then don't know what I'm doing. Play the game. Come on. New game. No. Cool. Cool. What's your name going to be? Can't pronounce that, but cool. That's you. Let's roll. Oh, I forgot to take out the explore mod. So I'll take that out next. That won't affect my gameplay. But we'll make sure we got our stuff back now. And I'm all back. Voila. And that is how fast it is to really update your mods and do all this. If you do it the way I've been showing you guys, it is way more simpler. Um, and like I said, the Explorer mod has been working for me. So I can run and do it and she'll do all of it. Um, even though it did say some people are reporting issues with the Explorer mod, it is still working for me. But I would just, if you do use that mod, um, pay close attention to Kawaii Stacy's um, page because she'll probably do some sort of update to it and you never know. So 
but I'm getting it to work just fine and stuff so it should be okay but it's better to be safe than sorry so just play test it a few times you'll be good to go so I hope this has been helpful to all you guys if you have please give it a big thumbs up make sure to share it with your friends and family you think will enjoy it as well if you haven't already subscribed to Zweetieville then I don't know what you're waiting for hit that big red subscribe button it doesn't cost you a thing and until next time all my Zweetians out there have a Zweetie-licious day